I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jacks. Taliban guard at Kabul's airport says the last U.S. planes flew out and celebratory gunfire erupted across the Afghan capital. It marked the symbolic end of 20 years of war. In Washington, the U.S. confirmed the withdrawal of its last troops, which faced a self-imposed Tuesday deadline. The number of patients with coronavirus in Florida hospitals continues to drop as infection rates stay high. It's a sign that while more people are testing positive for the virus, they're not necessarily developing severe illness. Hospital officials are cautiously optimistic, saying the Jacksonville area hit its peak sooner and the Panhandle and Sarasota area are now feeling strained. A five-year-old Pierce County, Georgia girl died after a stone monument collapsed and fell on her. That accident happened while Bella Bennett and her eight-year-old sister were playing at the Lee Street Resource Center in Blackshear. The older girl jumped off the stone monument, which sent it toppling. Chief Wright of the police department there said the monument fell and landed on the younger sister. A federal judge was told a new Florida law designed to deter violent public demonstrations is instead unconstitutionally chilling free speech and legitimate rights to protest. Attorneys for several organizations challenging the law, championed by the Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, asked U.S. District Judge Mark Walker, Walker in a hearing in Tallahassee to block enforcement of key parts of the law. The judge did not immediately rule, but promised to do so in the near future. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.